My name is Benjamin Mudge. I was the first person to talk about ayahuasca at the Parliament in Parliament of Religions in Melbourne in 2009. And today, this is uh, a further development. So this is the first time that we're honoured, the Parliament is honoured, to have Indigenous spiritual leaders from the Amazon present at the Parliament. Firstly, I'm going to be speaking in general about ayahuasca. Then we're going to have uh, three indigenous spiritual leaders from three Amazonian countries, namely Elena Valera Vasquez from Peru, who is a maestra curandera from the Shipibo tribe. We have Benki Bianco, who is uh, a spiritual leader of the Ashaninka tribe in Brazil. We have Miguel Evandroanoi Chindoy, uh, from the Inga people, who's a, uh, a spokesperson for the Union of Yahe Medics in Colombia. And also we have Ben Mius, who is Belgian and is here representing the European Santa Daime churches. Ayahuasca is a tea, and it's made with two medicinal plants from the Amazon rainforest. So we have up here, we have two, we have the vine of the... Banisteriopsis carpi, and we have the leaf of the Psychotria viridis. Now, those two plants are combined together in one pot and brewed to make a tea. The tea, the process is quite complicated and quite lengthy, and there's quite a fine art to it. And um, and it's the, the process of making this tea is, is done, the whole process is a sacred process. And right from, the, from the, the time that people go and they cut down the vine, for example, and uh, the preparation, all the energies are taken incredibly carefully and incredibly seriously because there's a transmission of sacred energy and prayer that goes into the tea itself and somehow, mysteriously, uh, there is a transmission of that energy when the person drinking the tea <coughs> receives it. So everyone that works with ayahuasca is very careful about the whole process <coughs> from the start to the drinking and the pouring and the, the ceremony in which it's drunk and so on and so on. So. Um, now, ayahuasca has been used by dozens of indigenous tribes throughout the Amazon, not all of the tribes, but most of them, um, for at least hundreds of years. They, a lot of, some of the indigenous spiritual leaders think it goes back for thousands of years, this tradition. Now, this uh, process of drinking ayahuasca uh, is fundamental to the culture of these indigenous people. Now, it's the drinking of ayahuasca in a ceremony is the core of their spiritual traditions. We consider this our sacrament. Or in some people, it could be considered, some people call it a sacred medicine, a santa medicina. It's almost always drunk in sacred ceremony uh, involving the singing of sacred songs. So traditionally, the tribes would get together, maybe once a week or more, and everyone, including children, would drink the ayahuasca and sing sacred songs uh, to connect with the divine. Now this tea helps that connection with the divine. It's what's called an entheogen. Theo, as in theology, as in God. So this tea helps people drinking it to connect with the cosmic divine, the great spirit, Deus, Dios, and God, and also to connect with the divine aspects within ourselves. And when it's done properly, these rituals create harmony in a community. And they also enable the individuals to spiritually evolve. It has very much, uh, it's a, what's called a teacher plant. It, it gives 
it gives spiritual teachings and it gives an awareness uh, people develop profound awareness not just of spiritual things but they see themselves out, see themselves outside of their ego and can heal themselves healing a lot of psychological problems for example and also what we consider healing the illusion of separation from nature and spirit which is basically an infection of the West in my opinion so this ayahuasca can heal that illusion of separation and reconnect us with spirit and we can reconnect us with nature and that is technically exactly what religion means so religion from the Latin means to reconnect a system for reconnecting so ayahuasca ceremonies are what I'm saying a genuine religion religion now I feel incredibly strongly about the importance of this spiritual practice this spiritual healing modality being legitimized and protected and the reason for that is because literally this practice has saved me from suicide 